Okay, so you've got this drip, drip, drip of excess water coming out. No matter how hard you turn that valve, it's not stopping, okay? So, first thing uh, I do is uh, shut the main water off. Then we're going to relieve the pressure. Yeah, this one's pretty stiff. Yes! Uh, you can tell I turned it all the way off. I'm going to have to use a wrench to turn it on now, I think. Okay, so there it is. So we're going to relieve the pressure. We've got the main shut off. Let's just relieve the main, uh, the pressure that's in there. We're going to take this cap off. I'm going to look inside here and look at that little washer in there. Okay, we got this off. Okay, I'm going to... Okay, look at this guy here. We got Hot Rod Eddie over here. Who's this? Who's this is a hot rod? Oh, this is this is the uh, Okay, so you can see this uh, little washer inside here. It's kind of worn down. It's not torn up. What we can do is actually take that screw out and flip that washer around. And we also want to look inside here and make sure that the seat where that rides on is not pitted or kind of gouged out. You just basically need to look inside there and make sure that's a good seat in there. Uh, if you got a bad seat, you may have to replace that whole valve. But this one feels pretty good. I think we're good. I think we can just get by by flipping this washer around. Or we can go to the hardware store and, uh, okay. Uh, I just happened to find one. I couldn't get the old one out. It was just like really, it's probably been in there like 40 years or something. Uh, it would not come out and flip around. Let's see, there's a good side right there, but uh, it fell apart. So I found another one. I had a bunch of them. Uh, some are the bevel style. Some of these you can actually cut with a razor to make work if you don't have the right kind. I found this one was a little big. I was going to cut it down, but then I finally found the right size. So, uh, yeah, this one here. Go right in here. And you might want to take a little grease. Grease up everything. And uh, grease up those threads in there. And it should be good. Thanks for watching. If you need any help, I do local service. 707-443-8347 for local service okay so here is another one okay here's another one this one is actually leaking out of the top of the stem here you can see what I've done is I've taken this uh, Teflon tape and wrapped it in there but it, it didn't work for very long so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to take this top uh, handle off and then uh, this off here and then we're gonna have to put some uh, packing material in this on, on that shaft and uh, so Let's do that now. This screw actually is not too tight because I recently uh, put that packing tape, or excuse me, that Teflon tape, that plumber's tape on there and didn't quite work as well as I thought it should. So I'm just going to go ahead and put uh, the stem packing in there. So we have to take this nut off first. We have, the, we have the water shut off already. Okay, so this one is this one has come apart and what we're talking about is you can see the Teflon tape the uh, shreds of Teflon white tape on that I tried to kind of MacGyver this has actually got some funny little washers or o-rings on it too uh, but anyway uh, this is the packing material right here it's inside that part so we're gonna try and see if I've got one of those and put it in okay so this one here I had this uh, it's sort of a metallic uh, packing and I actually put some silicone and some more Teflon tape around it just in case um, so basically it goes in there and if you have any grease you might want to put it on the threads and uh, should be good to go 
Thanks for watching.